Hello, I'm Andy Guire. I work as part of the Priority Crime Team here in the New Forest. Our role is to tackle those that are committing the most harm and disruption to the lives of those that live and work here in the New Forest. I'd like to share with you today the results of some work we did earlier on this year in conjunction with the Metropolitan Police Service. So they provided us with a package of information that suggested that a young man that lives in the Totten area was using social media to market and sell zombie knives and offensive weapons. On our arrival, as soon as we knocked at the door, it was obvious that the occupants knew something was up. Weapons, including CS gas, were discarded out of the windows, but we did finally negotiate entry into the premises. A thorough search took place of the address. We recovered weapons, including some knives with Nazi insignia on, CS gas, and other prohibited items. We also recovered the mobile phone belonging to Petrescu. This was quickly examined, and lots of messages were located on that device which made it quite clear that he was using his social media accounts to send and receive messages to market these knives. Some of those messages were really quite disturbing. People were asking to buy knives from him that would be used in further crimes, with the mention of shanking individuals in the area. So Petrescu was arrested that morning. He was taken from his address and off to custody. During the custody period, my team supported by investigators, worked very hard to secure charges for several offences involving the marketing of knives and the possession of offensive weapons. I genuinely don't think when Stefan Petrescu woke up that morning, he expected not to see the light of day for several months. He was taken straight to court, remanded from court into custody. So in this case, the use of the internet has allowed us to research Petrescu's actions in such a way that we've built an overwhelming package of evidence against him. This has contributed to an early guilty plea because he quite simply had nowhere to run. Petrescu has been sentenced by the Crown Court here in Southampton today. We believe the sentence he's received is appropriate for the crimes he's committed and has contributed substantially disrupting the supply of weapons in the New Forest area.